well, Big Ben's last chime uh, right on the solar lunar eclipse um, in the United States. And so uh, let's just watch as it chimes its last um, 12 p.m. today on the 21st of August 2015. To remind everybody that things are changing and that uh, the government as we know it is being replaced, restructured internally and externally uh, to resemble something else. Now the next big event we got is of course the 23rd of December and then the Jewish uh, feast days, Yom Kippur and so on uh, later on uh, at the beginning of October and uh, a few of them have mentioned Israel it's really all about Israel, Revelation 12 if you haven't worked that out a lot of them think that the rapture is going to take place of the, of the church, which means certain born again Christians they think could be taken away into space, and uh, then Jesus comes back and uh, anoints the hundred forty four thousand. Or I'm not really sure um, what order there these guys are suggesting, but uh, we know that Jesus said, "I came." but for the, the lost sheep of Israel. A lot of these guys uh, are not Israel, and yet they proclaim a Messiah. A lot of these guys, they proclaim a Messiah, but they do not claim to be part of Israel, uh, the nation or the people. They say that they're part of the church. Very interesting. Jesus said, I came not but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, he did miracles. Remember the woman um, who begged uh, for her daughter to be healed, or a, a demon driven out. Uh, Jesus said, well, look, I'm, I'm not really here for you. Um, now, Gentiles find this offensive. Uh, as far as I knew, I was a Gentile before I was born again, but the Lord showed me that I'm part of Israel. So if he hasn't shown you that, then I'd question, you know, are you going to really be part of the end time events? Do you really have a heart for Israel? Um, I don't really care what colour you are or kindred or anything like that. Um, if if you think that you're part of Israel and God has shown you that, then that's good. I think I think you're going to be part of the events of, of the last days. You know, you probably have to get your head cut off. Um, you know, to... Uh, sort of martyred I would say but this is this is what comes down from heaven remember that the new Jerusalem is not made from the earth and uh, the dragon is still in the stratosphere like the fallen angels uh, you know referred to commonly as UFOs and aliens these are fallen angels a lot of them are their children and when they die they become demons but again the church will not teach that they say that they're all demons, but there's a lot more to Satan's kingdom than just demons. Uh, but these guys, they, they just don't teach the truth, just just as simply as it's written in the Bible. 
But before all that, of course, we have the fight of the century, Conor McGregor uh, versus Floyd Mayweather. Um, Mayweather is known for his uh, defense. He's a very good defensive boxer. On the other hand, Conor McGregor, if he was to face Mayweather in a UFC ring, I don't think it would take any more than two minutes to finish uh, Floyd Mayweather, but uh, Floyd Mayweather is a very skilled boxer, and he could just about hold on um, to, to win the fight, I would say, but it's, I think it's going to be quite close. I, I think that Conor's going to uh, maybe come close to knocking out uh, Floyd Mayweather, but... Uh, you know, I, th I think that Floyd Mayweather is going to get through this. It doesn't really matter. I mean, they're, they're just doing it f for the money, of course. <laughs> no prophetic significance. I just thought I'd mention it. There's old uh, Chris Eubank there. I don't think he's ever got a prediction right in his life, but God bless him. Well, you got to be really sp specific to put uh, my uh, music in. <laughs> It often doesn't come up on this search engine, but uh, this was me last year in Jerusalem talking to Jewish people uh, about Yeshua, uh, the Messiah, and um, well, let's just let's just say that um, the up and coming events probably have got to be linked with the Third, third World War, um, which has all got to happen before. Yeshua's second coming, which I think he's going to come at, at the end of it, you know, that the Antichrist will reign and rule after this war, so we, I believe we still have, um, well, we, we, we still have uh, some time before Yeshua returns, but uh, we should always uh, be, be ready, and always preaching the gospel first to the Jew, and then to the Gentile, um, which is biblical prophecy. Uh, a lot of Christians um, are very, very divided on the nation of Israel, who are the Jewish people. But I think it's just important to take the Lord's lead and to um, share the Messiah with all the people groups of the world, first to the Jew, then the Gentile. Some people might disagree, well, they're not real Jews. Well, there might be some Jews here. You know, let's say there was uh, a few Jews in Jerusalem, then it's, it's God's will that they hear about uh, Yeshua. Let's say that they're Gentiles. Let's say that they're all false Jews. So you're saying that they, they, you know, they don't deserve to hear about Yeshua. Is that what you're saying? Of course, they, of course, they deserve to hear about Yeshua. So it's just a logical. It's just a, a hatred for for Israel that people um, just prefer not to. To share the good news of Yeshua, um, which I believe we should do as believers, as uh, you might call yourself a Christian, a Messianic um, Israelite, or whatever, you know, it's like the black Israelites and all that stuff. But anyhow, um, you can't be racist again to the kingdom, you got to be born again from within. That's what I just keep saying all the time. Just echo Jesus' word. You've got to be born again if you're black, white, or whatever colour you are. Uh, your, your race is not going to get you into the kingdom. Um, it's it's uh, through repentance and seeking the Lord's Messiah, which means the Deliverer, the Anointing of the Most High God, the Ote May the Lord bless you. Thank you for watching.